Things were looking desperate for Hannibal as his men were hacked down all around him. And the legions were pounding into his army like a battered ram. For the Romans, it seemed that one more push would lead to victory. But they were blind to the growing danger all around them. Now it became clear why Hannibal had adopted the crescent formation. As the Roman advance was sucked into the center of the crescent, the Libyan spearmen on the flanks wheeled round from both sides to catch the Romans in a vice. People in the very center of this mob couldn't use their weapons. They were pelted by spears, javelins, stones, but they could not reply backwards. It was too compact, it was too tight. Romans are a big crowd. It's like people streaming out of a football match. They can't see what's going on. At that moment, Hannibal's cavalry smashed through the Roman horsemen on both flanks and began to move around behind the legions. At the front, the Roman attack became bogged down because of its densely packed formation. At the back, the Carthaginian cavalry closed in. trap was sprung. The vast army of Varro and Paulus was completely encircled. Had they kept their wits about them, they could have had an organized breakout and still rescued the battle. So what happened? Fear happened. Emotion happened. Panic. It was a matter of spirit and a land and fear and all of those other emotions that explain why one side wins and one side loses. Both of the Roman commanders were in the thick of the action, commanding cavalry detachments. Paulus, who had never wanted this fight, was knocked from his horse. He sat down on a rock, nursing a head wound. His officers urged him to leave as Hannibal's army was just moments away. He refused and seconds after they left, died in a hail of javelins. And Vero, who had been so keen for combat, he escaped back to Rome and was forgiven for his defeat. No matter how unwise Vero's decisions might seem in retrospect, to the Romans at least, they're not gonna criticize him because the, the great trait of all Roman commanders is aggression. I remember that at Cani, what happened should not have happened. Military strategists could not envision that a numerically inferior army could surround in a concentric manner on both sides a numerically superior force. So the very idea that someone like Hannibal could pull that off was just audacious and should not have happened. By nightfall, Cani was a field of blood and tangled limbs. The actual fighting had only taken four hours, but nearly 50,000 Romans and 10,000 Carthaginians were slaughtered. That's roughly 200 men each passing minute. Nearly one third of all Roman senators, the men who governed Rome, lay slain or captured. This was the worst defeat ever suffered by Rome. 